So here it is. The video a lot of you have been asking me for ever since I started the YouTube channel. We are officially downsizing and moving into the boat that we've been restoring for the past couple of years this summer. So what you see behind me is part of the interior of the boat. And yeah, it's pretty much a mess right now. Right now we are on stilts out on the gravel. Um, so we're not in the water yet this year and we still have a ton of projects to do uh, to make it full-time livable, but we, uh, we're we breaking it down and we're getting to it. We had originally planned to do this in 2020, but the world had other plans for us, so we'll be doing this summer 2022 instead. So this has been our SMART goal for quite some time now, and we've been working toward this and chipping away at it. If you don't know what a SMART goal is, SMART is an acronym that means specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. So this has been time bound, but due to the unforeseen circumstances of 2020, we had to push it out a little bit because it didn't make sense to do this back then. So let me give you a quick tour. And if you wanna learn more about SMART goals and how to set them and break things down, I'll make sure to link some videos. The link should pop down from the top and I'll include them in the description. But today I'm gonna to do a little something different and just show you around it really quick. And this is likely where I'll be filming videos in the future for this channel. So you'll get to see how it comes along as we get everything together before we move on it. All right, so let me pop the camera around the other direction. So this is less shaky while I'm moving around. Uh, we aren't in the water right now, so this is a perfect time to do it. So to start the tour off, let's start from where you would enter if you were going inside the boat. So this is your view. And if you turn to the right, you'll see the galley, which is also known as a kitchen, if you don't know what a galley is. And so we have sink, gas stove, uh, we have a refrigerator down there. Unfortunately, we got a leak this winter, so there's all sorts of brown nastiness that's been coming through the leak, which we gotta plug up, and I'll be bleaching that out again. It'll be good as new. Everything gets a little weird in the winter when it's all tucked away. So. We also have an oven, which would be awesome with the gas stove cooked a lot on here in the past on just we've done some trips so as we continue further into the boat you'll see on the left and right these red cushions those are the sitting areas and underneath they have storage so the one on the left which is called the port side is lifted up so you can see some of the storage in there and then we have this lovely cabinet continuing here past the fold-up table we have the pass-through to the bedroom where the mattresses are currently up because it's a boat and of course another new leak has popped up over the winter. So we'll be making sure to fix that so it stops leaking and then we'll be putting that down. We're replacing the foam in the cushions anyway because we don't want mold. We don't want to be breathing in mold. So at the bed I just showed you behind me right now and we're walking back through the pass-through past the closets and past the head also known as the bathroom. Um, so. Right now, it's still in the middle of a renovation, so the gross stuff on the wall is actually just the fiberglass of the hull, and it's not covered by the old wallpaper anymore that we ripped out, because it's gross. So this will be done better by the time we move on. It's, it's a mess. So there's also a shower in here, uh, so we can stay clean, we won't be nasty and gross. And if you hear that whirring noise, that's the exhaust fan that's solar powered to make sure that there's airflow to keep everything from getting stinky. So let's get back to the cabin. So walking back through the main area, you see the seating areas on both sides. And if we continue through, we'll end up at the aft berth. So this is another area where some cushions would go and people can sleep. The cushions aren't back there right now because it's been winter and we don't wanna keep them on here all winter long. So it's a mess, but again, it'll be less messy later. Just wanna show you the full reality of it before we have it spick and span. <laughs> and we have a closet over here uh, that is the exposed fiberglass of the hall and then some more drawers. So let's go outside and see what's going on out here. Here we have George filling some holes from screws that came up when he took out the old winches. So winches are things that you wrap the lines around so that you can pull up the sails and it's not as hard to pull them up so you have leverage so he's going ahead and doing that now because we're going to be painting and changing a lot of the stuff on the outside 
to get everything extra beautiful. Continuing back here, we have the grill past George. I'm gonna turn around now so you can see the view the other way. So this is the view if you're facing the front of the boat. As you can see, that's how you get down inside. So walking forward, you'll see that there's a lot of patching going on. That's because we're going to be painting all of this with a new fresh coat of paint to make it extra nice. As you can clearly see, we're not in the water right now. So I'm gonna walk up along here and you can check out the beautiful gravel sea we're floating over um, and all the other boats in the boat yard. So this is the front of the boat. I don't actually know how high up we are right now, but uh, we'd have to use a ladder to get up here. So I don't know, maybe, maybe 20 feet by the time you get all the way up and stand up. All right, I'm gonna turn around now and show you the, the view from the front to the back. So this is the view from the front to the back of the boat. It's kind of ugly because there's all this patching and stuff and we haven't painted yet, but hey, we are uh, making sure to curate our calendar to make our dreams happen by doing all of this work. Uh, this is not something that we just do in the spring. Uh, there's been work going on year round for the past couple of years to get this prepared and ready. All right, now we're at the back of the boat. So let me show you what it looks like to get down from here to the gravel and then show you what the boat looks like out of the water since that's not something you get to see often. There is the ladder way down there. <laughs> so here are down at the gravel at the bottom of the ladder. This is the back of the boat. So our boat is called Curious George. And yes, we hand painted that on there. It was originally painted by George's brother, Joseph, but after baking in the sun for years and years and years before we started restoring the boat, uh, the paint needed a little touch up. So we actually had to trace it with paper, sand the whole thing off, and then stencil it back on and paint it. So this is the side of the boat. When we're in the water to float, it actually only needs about four feet, even though the boat seems pretty huge. This boat is a 37 foot Morgan, which was built in 1977. So it's an oldie, but it has good bones and it's been really sturdy for us with our sailing adventures around here. So that is the boat tour. Going forward, you'll probably see it in the back of videos. And I'll probably be talking about all the different things that go into all this because it relates to everything that I've been teaching you before. So smart goals, breaking things down, getting started before you're ready, overcoming overwhelm and procrastination, all of those things. This has been a multi-year project and of course there are definitely things that didn't go right, things that we thought were going one way didn't go the other way, just all sorts of opportunities to use all the principles that I've been sharing with you in the previous videos. So I hope you've enjoyed this boat tour. If you did, give me a thumbs up, let me know in the comments, and maybe I'll try to wrap in some more boat stuff in addition to, of course, sharing with you tools, techniques, and skills that can help you reach success in your life. I'm Kelly and I'll see you in the next video.